Well, today is the last day of Alzheimer's Awareness Month, and it's fitting that some big news came out today on cognitive drug research. In a phase three clinical trial of the drug lecanemab, 27% of patients showed a slowed rate of decline. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Jada Williams speaks with local Alzheimer's leaders on why this is so promising, but also potential side effects of the drug as we meet with those affected by this destructive disease. I cling um, to every bit of news that there could be something new, exciting, that's working. Alzheimer's disease took the life of both of Connie Lesko's parents. That's why she says news of a new drug that could slow the effects of the disease is promising. I'm 72, and so, I mean, you know, things start happening. You start slowing down. You don't remember people's names. So you question, am I having, is this, is this normal aging? memory loss. Phase three trial results for lecanemab found moderately less decline on measures of cognition and function after 18 months. Those findings are promising to Florida Alzheimer's Association senior program manager Stephanie Wardlow. The treatment slowed the progression of the disease by 27 percent. Um, these results show that lecanemab will provide patients more time to participate in daily life and live more independently. It could mean many more months. But it's not all good news with the drug. One major side effect could be small areas of swelling or bleeding on the brain. 12.6% of people in the trial who received the drug experienced swelling. 1.7% of those who received the placebo experienced it. Aria is a real concern, you know, that patients and families should know about, educate themselves about, but do that under the supervision of a doctor. To Lesko, the drug still brings a sense of hope, not just for Alzheimer's patients, but their families too. There are a lot of families that have this struggle, and it's not just the patient. Uh, in fact, the patient feels it probably less than anyone. The Food and Drug Administration is considering approving lecanemab under its fast track program, with a decision expected in early January. In Sun City Center, Jada Williams, ABC Action News. And going in depth on this topic of aging, we know some cognitive decline can happen as we get older, but a new study shows some seniors with sharp minds after the age of 80 have some traits in common. Researchers at Northwestern University call them super agers in their study. They are seniors over 80 with a memory that's as good or better than average people in their 50s and 60s. The researchers have been studying older adults with superior memories for 14 years now, comparing super agers with average agers. They say both groups have similar IQs, but the super agers studied have these traits in common, and they include they tend to be positive and active, challenge themselves daily, continue to work into their 80s, and are social butterflies who often volunteer. Super agers tend to endorse um, stronger relationships with others. So they, they like to stay connected. So they're, they're trying to avoid that social isolation and loneliness. Researchers believe social connectedness may be linked to super agers brain health. The data also points to a genetic link. They found a super agers brain donated after death usually showed it had bigger, healthier cells in the area known to be first hit when a person has Alzheimer's disease. And if you are not a super ager, how do you spot early Alzheimer's signs? Well, Medicare experts suggest that just getting a baseline cognitive test, and that's just a memory test, no poking or prodding, and it's usually free online or at a clinic. Doctors will tell you Alzheimer's does hit you at all, all, not at all at once. There are subtle signs and symptoms along the way that can be obvious if you know what you're looking for. We spoke with one of the lead doctors at the Memory Disorder Clinic at Sarasota Memorial Hospital. It's a place that provides a whole host of resources, including free memory screenings three times a month. She told us as we get older, our long term memory naturally fades. But one of the first signs of Alzheimer's or dementia will be short-term memory loss. When a person is having problems with short memory, meaning they're having difficulty remembering things, very recent things, how long it is interfering with their life, then we are in front of more than just normal aging. 
Dr. Sensian also tells us memory loss that disrupts a person's daily life is another sign that something is wrong. Things like withdrawing from work or social activities, difficulty with familiar tasks or mood swings that come from frustration from not being able to remember. I know we just threw a whole lot of information at you, but again, encouraging news out today about a drug to slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease. If you'd like to read more about those trial results, you'll be able to find Jada's story on our website. Just head over to abcactionnews.com.